Hello and welcome back to Soul Calibur 2 Weapon Master Mode. We are just about near the end of this whole mode altogether. The last time, remember, we cleared Marak. And now we're going into Chapter 9, Al Gold. No relation to Fantasy Star whatsoever. Chapter 9, The Forgotten Grounds. With your final blow, Varal, corrupts, Varal collapsed. His face showed a look of surprise as if he could not believe that he had actually lost. It was over. You had won. <laughs> I see. So you had the spirit sword to think that feeding on the power that made me, made me more vulnerable. I never considered that. Varal slid to the floor and ceased to move. He had the power of the Soul Edge within himself. Tristy, the guardian of the gate, barely managed to talk. The gates existed to, to prevent the cursed sword from getting out. He saw through the way that they worked. Using methods unknown, he called the power of the dark sword into himself in order to pass through the gates. The gates deliberately allowed him through because their very purpose was to seal that power inside. The power that Veril obtained in the Forbidden Grounds was that of Soul Edge itself. Mizar, Adabaran, and Mirak. Veral had fallen, but with the three gates destroyed, Soul Edge was in an extremely dangerous state, and restoring the barrier would take time. Someone needed to keep watch over Soul Edge until the preparations for the creation of the new barrier was completed. May I ask this of you? As the vanquisher. Ahem, <clears throat> sorry. May I ask this of you? As the vanquisher of Aral and the wielder of the spirit sword, you were most appropriate for the task. After some brief thought, you accepted her request. In order to handle the evil sword safely, it was necessary to complete the purification of the spirit sword. After learning from Tristy about no man with the power to do so, you set off to find him. You traveled to Algol, land of exiles. <laughs> Corridor of the Sky. So we got four areas to deal with. Only the enemy's weapon is visible. Okay. <laughs> I've dealt with this before. Algo was a land of exiles and outcasts. Some of them were formerly sentenced criminals, while others were people with special powers cast out of their villages. You proceeded carefully along the mountain path, about halfway up Algol Mountain. You witnessed a mysterious sight, next floated in midair, blocking your way. Shocked, you stopped for a moment and stared. The axe responded by letting out a growl. You then heard a voice coming from somewhere. Go forth, my axe! Take everything this fool has! It seemed you have been ambushed by a high woman. You had to do something about this act before you could go any further. Versus Astaroth. Really? Now, two souls are fiercely entangled. We Sit down. Ancient Amphitheater. Unseen forces push the combatants together. Defeat the opponents under the condition. Bonus is available during the match. Upon seeing, the def uh, upon seeing you defeat the axe, the man controlling it ran away. He tossed aside the now lifeless weapon and proceeded along the mountain path. After reaching the other side of the mountain, you came across a small town along the river. 
You entered the town and began gathering information about the old man that Tristy had spoken of. That guy you're looking for, yeah, I know him. <clears throat> you heard these words from a man at the local bar. He knew what the old man looked like as well as his profession as a blacksmith. You're excited to have found a lead about the old man so quickly after hearing Al after entering Algol. But things were not going to be quite that easy. The man at the bar requested a fee in exchange for his information. You offered him some money, but the man shook his head. According to him, there would soon be a fighting tournament in town. He wanted you to enter the tournament so that he could win big, betting on someone who was unknown in the area. You accepted his terms and looked into the tournament. You learned that the you learned that they linked the combatants together with chains, preventing them from putting much distance between each other. Versus Cassandra. Oh, you again, bitch. Entrust your noble soul in your sword. You're not my type either, bitch. I really have to win all four. Okay, okay. Versus Cassandra. Still a bitch. A Bring out Sarah, the only way I can win this. Still a bitch. I gotta be a second, man. Couldn't y'all just give me ten more? There! I am 
Butler! Man, that's some good goal right there. Reclusive Palace. As promised, okay, one part of the enemy can be seen. Okay. Only one part. As promised, the man gave you the information you needed to find the old man, and you headed to his mansion. There's nothing else for miles around. It was said that the old man did not like people and chose to live away from others. You knocked on the door several times, but there was no answer. Seeing no other option, you pushed the door. You pushed on the door. It's not locked and creaked open. Who's there? You suddenly heard a voice from behind you. The old man. The old man listened to your story without expression, but when you finished, he grumbled to himself. Unbelievable. I'll never live down how that girl turned out. The next day, the old man led you to a room that obviously had not been used for some time. He asked you to show him the spirit sword, so you drew a soul caliber and presented it to him. I see. The spirit of Solage is indeed present in the sword, but. Oh, dare, did you say? They've done quite a good job already. This amount of darkness won't take long to cleanse. As you stood there wondering what would happen next, the old man start suddenly shouted, Get ready for the physical manifestation of evil energy! As usual, things were never as easy as people made them sound. Oh, hell. A hero desires a sword, and a sword desires truth. And that one part... By the way. Final battle, fight! Oh, that's just being a dick right there. You just gave me legs. Plus a charade, so. A hero. Fight all battle. Fight. <laughs> Fine. Yeah, that was some um, chapter clear, really? Antares! That means we got Marak finish. Pollock's not done. In chapter 10, Antares. So, in the next part, we're actually gonna go into, um,. Chapter 10, Antares. When Webmaster Mode continues right after this.